This is the intersection of Northwest 5th and Cooch in Portland. They're putting a new Max line through here at the moment. It's Chinatown, but this intersection has become the locus of an art scene totally different from the Pearl. Here's the interesting thing. A lot of retail here, right? But every store has an art gallery in it. What a concept. Over here at Just Be Complex, a store full of Japanese shoes and tchotchkes, is an art gallery. Next door is the Backspace Gallery, which has a gallery in back, but also is a coffee shop and a video game center. Further on down is Someday Lounge. Across Cooch is Upper Playground, a clothing store with, you guessed it, an art gallery attached. And the Motel Gallery is behind it. But this, this looks like a block full of buildings. It is, and it was. For years, it was the headquarters of the Goldsmith Company. Inside, all of these buildings are connected to each other. The anchor of it all is the Portland Art Center. That's Gavin Shetler, who runs the place. It's great to have another gallery right across the street. The drug dealers are going away, and it's spring. Perhaps the best example of how this area has changed is the studio Gavin can see from his office window. It belongs to John Jay, Wyden and Kennedy's executive creative director. Pretty good for an area more recently known for homeless folks and drug dealers. I do wonder what John Jay does over there. But Gavin doesn't have a whole lot of time for contemplation. Thanks, Gavin. Yeah, so we're thinking about... Um... The Portland Art Center was founded in 2002, opened gallery space in southeast Portland in 2005, and has been here since June of 2006. There are at least four galleries, an information center, it hosts classes and workshops, and it's a facility for colleges to use. It's a hub, a connecting point. Tell me about what, what you are standing in front of. When people walk in the door, that's what they're going to see. What this piece is about is the space behind the canvas. So we started with this concept of, of a tree, or a sequoia tree in this case, and he, and he created this shape, or this idea of a shape, and then he painted it as well. One thing that people ask him is that, did he actually have the other sections in it when he painted it? <laughs> yeah. Which he didn't. What does this piece say about the Portland Art Center? Well, it says that the, the Art Center is a place that can house something like this by a young artist, um, a large piece that wouldn't necessarily have a place to be able to show anywhere else in town. And so, so that's really a, a focal point for all of our programming here. This is a sculpture and sound installation, so it has by its nature a very meditative quality to the work. And what you hear right now is, um, is each of these bowls, they're brass, um, hand-spun bowls. There is a small speaker um, underneath each bowl that, that is actually turning the bowl into a speaker. The whispering that is going on and also the droning that is caused by the bowls then travels throughout the bowls um, around the room. This is the Light and Sound Gallery. It is a space that's designed for um, sound installation and video installation. The response has been international. We have artists that we've already shown from Paris, New York, Chicago, like this artist, um, Tokyo, um, all over the world. What we're hearing is three different sound elements, um, one being the speakers on either side of the glass, one inhaling and the other one exhaling. Um, then over here we have um, a piano being tuned to a different key register. And the idea is, is how these disparate elements all being placed in the, in, um, in the same space and how they're interacting with each other. This is the open space gallery. It sure looks pretty open right now. <laughs> it is. What we're doing right now is we are um, creating some more wall space. So. What we found is that um, the open space community gallery tends to be more for 2D work or work that's hung on walls. And so what we've done is, is been able to maximize the space by adding some more walls, but without taking away from the openness of, of the space. We want the space to be really usable by artists. Artists can come in and nail things down to the floor or um, do what, you know, so it's a real working gallery. So leaving it a bit raw is, 
is a great thing for the artists. It's a space designed to, for the community to be able to lease for short-term exhibitions, one-month exhibitions. There's no place you can do this where you can get access to a professional gallery space that isn't necessarily curated. In other words, we manage the space so that artists and uh, the universities can come in and be able to just take advantage of it. The Goldsmith Block houses much more than the Portland Art Center. There are artist studios. Even now, with his poor Rosalie gone to ghost, his hand wakes in hers, and they while the morning. And theater rehearsal spaces. One of the owners is David Gold. Uh, we have 22 studios, and they all range. I think the smallest is about 250 square feet. The largest is 1,100. I think it's been very successful. Everything that we can put together to rent, rents very quickly. My name is Tura Yupiral. I've been here about nine months now. Well, I wanted to move back downtown. I was uh, over in St. John's, had a studio over there. It's great. I mean, uh, with the art center downstairs and, and some of the other uh, artists that have moved into the space here, it's been great. You know, it's a good to have that community going on and uh, be able to talk to some of the other uh, artists. Do you think I should put this in here, or do you think I should just leave it out there? Just leave it out there. Gavin used to own his own commercial gallery, but what a lot of people don't know is that Gavin has had a whole other career as a serious musician. He's a classical cellist and a singer. The first time I performed was when I was four. It was the first time I sang in public. And actually, since I've started my art career uh, of um, running galleries, which is um, now going on eight years, um, this period of time, I sold my cello, actually, to open my art gallery. I sold everything that I had um, to be able to get my first business started, my bicycle and my cello, and <laughs> and uh, it's um, this has been the longest period of my life that I haven't been performing music since I was born. I'm very good at taking a body of work and looking at it in a room, and then making the work read against against the room and against the other artwork. And I'm good at then being able to install that in in the best viewing possible way possible. My name is Gavin Scheller. I'm the executive director of the Portland Art Center, and I wanted to thank you all for coming. The Art Center is, uh, is really something that's been created by um, the Portland arts community, uh, um, and it's continually created by the arts community, and I'm just a part of that that is, that is helping, helping this thing um, exist and grow.